So most people that follow hockey, if they follow it closely, they either know of or have heard the name Ryan Paling. But when you take off the jersey and the skates, who is Ryan Paling? Um, I don't know. It's a hard question. I just think I'm, I mean, a lot of people just know me as being a personal, likable guy. And I think I see that. I mean, a lot of people will think I'm kind of, I, I don't know, hard to talk to, which I can see myself. I'm a bit shy when I don't know you. But if you get to know me, I'm actually super nice and likable guy. And then what are some of the things that you like to do besides just playing hockey? I love, like, one of my, like, in the summer, I golf all the time. Like, every Thursday, I'm in the league that we golf. It's my dad and his friends. And then uh, I go to the cabin a lot during the weekend. So I like wake surf, um, four wheel. You graduated high school early at the age of 17. What was the thought process behind making that decision to come play college hockey a year early? I mean, for me, leaving Lakeville North, which gave me everything, I mean, that's, that's what made me the hockey player and person I am. Was, was the hardest thing I had to do, but I think it was something that myself, it, it, it made me better. I mean, you have to take sacrifices in life if you want to get to where you want to be. And you also have three brothers. All of you play hockey. What was it like growing up in a family where you all love the same sport? Yeah, no, it was great. I actually, I mean, starting off, I, I didn't like hockey. I was like five years old. We had a backyard rink, and my mom would put me on the ice, and she said, if you want to get off, you have to skate off, because I would just cry there. And so I'd skate off, and that probably lasted like three or four weeks, and then by the time I could skate, I actually enjoyed it. So I give her a lot of credit, but I also give my two older brothers a lot of credit because it wasn't really hockey, just any sport that we'd be playing. I would, uh, I would catch up with them and just try to try to fit in. And I think that's kind of where I got my competitive nature, and that's that's made me better. You and your twin brothers not only play on the same team together, but also live together and take a lot of the same classes. Do you guys ever get sick of seeing each other all the time? <laughs> yeah, I think. I mean, Nick and Jack more so. I mean, they've been with each other their whole life, so. I think for them, they, they get to see each other. I mean, I just had a nice break of them when they, they went home when I was in the World Junior, so it felt pretty good. But no, I mean, for the most part, we get along really well. And I mean, we, I enjoy being with them. It's not one of those deals where I have to be with them. I, I choose to be with them. Talking a little bit more about hockey again as well, uh, specifically the draft. When you were selected 25th overall by the Montreal Canadiens, what was your thoughts in that moment being picked by that organization? Kind of blacked out, honestly. I don't really remember much. I, like, I just remember getting back on stage. Like, I don't, It was all a blur to me. I mean, it was one of, one of those more special moments in my life personally and individually. You're only a junior, and so you'll have one year left of NCAA eligibility. Where do you see life taking you in the next year? I, I don't know. I, a lot of people have asked me. I just I'm, I'm just worried about this t this year. I mean, we got a great team, and I'm I'm excited for the second half. I mean, how we ended last year sucks, and I think this year we're even better. So it, it'll be good to get back to where we were last year.